Alrighty, in this video we're going to see how Excel can do a data analysis on the regression um, line in order to find the equation of the line and residual plots um, just using Excel and your data set. So here you can see I've got a data set all ready to go and up here in the data tab I've got this button data analysis. Now if you can't see this you probably haven't got your add-in put in so what you need to do is you need to go to file and options and then you want to look in your add-ins and the one you actually need is this analysis tool pack now it probably is already there it might be inactive at the moment so you need to click on that and then and then go and that will be added for you okay so we're just going to click on our data analysis now I've already been doing this so it comes up regression but you just need to find the regression in order to to have this data analysis done for you. I'm going to click OK. Now my Y value, remembering this is my X and this is my Y, goes in here. So to put that in you just click and highlight what it is and it puts it in for you. Then you want your X value in the same way. Now I like to have this put out as a new worksheet. I want the residuals, I'd love a residual plot and a line fit plot as well. And then all you need to do is press OK. And then what it actually does for you is pretty much everything. You've got over here your R square value, your R value, some other information that you might need later on, not at the moment. You've got your intercept and your gradient. Then it gives you your residual plot where you can see that there's no pattern. So linear was a good um, model there. And it also gives you the equation line. So your actual predictive values against your Y values. So some nice graphs there. It also gives you a table of the residuals, saving you the time of actually calculating it if you could be bothered doing the calculation by hand. And there's a whole lot of other information you can see on here. It's not relevant at the moment to our Unit 3 Topic 1 course, but in the future you might find this particular thing that Excel does very useful. Thanks for watching.